After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that March difficulty. Yeah, I didn't do an outro in the last episode because, well, there wasn't really a place for it. But we're on our way to Bald Mountain to uh, face Imlarith on the Witch's Sabbath. Well, look at that, because we've seen that mountain a few times already with the giant tree on top of it. But we're back in Valen as well, because that has been a while. There we go. On the shores. So what's the plan, Siri? The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. Oh right, that's why it's called here. the Witch's Sabbath. And the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Um, Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. True shame. Yeah, um, sorry about that. It's kind of my decision, indirectly, but it was my decision. Familiar with this place? You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the crone's guest. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. Okay then. And uh, we kind of already know why she knows that Imlarith will be here. But maybe she can offer us a bit more information than she did before. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest to order the crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass. And we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Okay, she sounds pretty sure, so let's go. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. Okay then. The Doesn't... folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I have no idea why. So we have footsteps that we could see oh, before that. Prince. crowd of peasants came through here. So that I thought the peasants didn't dare come in here. Avalok claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Karanthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. So that's it's the navigator. He was Avalok's student. Interesting. Anything else you can tell us about the the major players in the wild hunt that we've been seeing up till now? Oh. Should I shoot? Should I shoot? The white one once the ladies. I don't think the ladies like approach. me very much. They've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. You down that shall way, not. Food, drink and plenty. Sit oh, down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. I don't think they will, but uh, we'll sit down by a fire. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. <laughs> Come with me. We don't want to uh, arouse suspicion. Okay, where did he go? So let's see what we can learn from this man. Okay, let's start talking. 
Uh, this gate. Why can't we get past it? Mentioned a gate. Said we wouldn't pass. Only the chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Interesting. Because uh, the only thing we've seen from the crones is that they eat children. What's the feast celebrate? The celebration. What's it about? What do you need to know, wanderer? No need Stop for anger. Stop pointing that the at us. Serve the ladies as we do now. Or I'll shove it up your ass. We and fire. Send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelly. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Okay. Um, why do the ladies need those children? Because uh, if they don't eat them, what do they do with them? Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. Great. I don't know. Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. I understand the desperation, but come on. The blessing, what is that all about? What does that entail? Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns. At times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Is never enough. Okay, then changing topics. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. Okay. Uh, so we learn about the feast and we learn about the gate. I don't really care about what the ladies come and do here, but uh, we should find a way along, well, past that gate, because we need to get up on top of the mountain. So we should go. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're well, on fire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Okay, sounds good. Um, I That's see there's a blacksmith over there. Is there... No, okay. So let's go talk to Thecla. And uh, ask for her permission to climb the mountain. Shouldn't be too hard now, shouldn't it? Look, a child. Nope, that's Johnny. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. Well, old B, you're back. Uh, and I see you found your lass. Yes, we did. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. Having the pleasure of see. taking a nice big dump. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What do you think, Johnny? Why are you here? That's actually what a an astute doing? question. Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse, same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? Well, we're here to uh, put a sword between their ribs. We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. 
The lass. She is stubborn as you. Even more so. Fingers Glad she uh, oh, acknowledges that herself. The peak starts there. Past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key. So since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. Well, uh, we gotta try anyway. Why won't we get the key? The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Good grief! You're worse than children. Three Apparently we are. To top the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? <laughs> Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. Ooh, Every that was a uh, no nice repost. Okay, and do they have any guests already? We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the Crones. Big blue, in full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? Well, that's a confirmation. My friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Yeah, we gotta try anyway. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck and do hope we meet again someday. Well, uh, the pleasure's all mine, Johnny, and I'll hope to see you next time. And there we go, singing again. So apparently along this bridge, then over there near the big fire, probably. And they're waiting for soup. So let's go talk to Tekla. It's clearing up. Apparently it's clearing up. Thank you, Geralt, for the weather forecast. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. She's as blind as Daredevil is blind, isn't she? Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. I'll take a bow out. Never mind. Got me answer. She can smell that. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. Okay, and I'm going with her. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Well, she has a scar as well. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus, it's old and infertile. And that's all in the smell. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Well, how are you gonna stop me? What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. Yeah, we know that. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them and they start life anew. The last were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eyes, so she's like to be the last. Okay. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. I'm worthy. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Girl? He's spryer than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice. But to do so you must best the challenge. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll take the challenge. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Now does it? She sounds really, really evil. That's high. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Aura. Okay. And we need to get it. 
Great. Now, bring me the coin. Okay. Um. Something's a yeah, I saw it. I saw it for a second. Did it go deeper? God damn it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna surface first because otherwise I'm gonna die. There we go. And die again. So let's see where this thing is. Is that it? The thing that's glowing on the ground over there? It looks like it, yeah. It's emitting light. The fire's orange. Okay, and how do we get out of here? Can we get further in here? No. Ah, I can get out of here through uh, this way. Well, that wasn't too hard now, was it? Oh, never mind. What was that? A fiend. Great. So let's put on some relic oil and beat this thing. There we go. I'm gonna beat your ass senseless. No, you shall not. Die, you fiend! There we go. Thank you very much. Uh, he was blocking the way apparently, but in the wrong direction. Because the Witcher GPS sends me this way. So let's get back to uh, Blind Tekla. The evil old woman. And go in here. Ah, oh, don't Siri. They're back. What do you want? Yeah, we're back. Um, well, we retrieve I retrieved the coin. You're the fire's orin. It reeks of sludge. Yeah, don't toss it in the water then. That. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Okay, then. Will open the gate for you. Now go. Thank you very much. That went smoothly. Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop. You're a witcher. A level 30. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted the Zugl. Book reference. The Zugl is a sort of a swamp, well, more sludge monster that hides in uh, sewers mostly. And it, one of the books starts off with uh, him fighting one and returning home to Yennefer and reeking of, well, everything bad you can think of. So, uh, Madika opened the... Oh, it's a big gate. Okay, that was like putting something in your pocket, but thank you. Thank you and goodbye. First gonna check out my ability tree because I got two more points. Okay, there we go. So upgrade Igni Intensity. You know what? I'm gonna... Because I told you guys I was going to go for the supercharged glyphs. I'm gonna acquire that and upgrade it once. And then put that in my last slot. And now we have a whopping 120% extra sign intensity from our mutagens alone um, so that's great so let's see oh gold where are we now this is not Imlarith this is a sylvan what's yours your name don't matter atop the P. 
think you'll lose it and get another. You may go. He looks a you? bit more evil. I passed the trial. There is proof. I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it. The Defiers Orum. Yes, indeed. Sentence. Okay. Great. So they tricked us. Fugas. Let's check. Uh, Sylvans are relics, so I'm gonna refresh the relic oil really quickly. I love the, the music in this game. No, you shall not. The two witchers is a bit too much for this guy. No, you shall not throw fireballs at me. So that was an obstacle. I'm tough, son of a bitch. We've no time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalark said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> oh, don't Let's fight play. about it. Rock, paper, scissors. Doom, doom, doom. And Geralt wins. Geralt loses. And we win! Geralt wins. So sorry, uh, Siri, but we're gonna hunt Imlirith. Emlerith's a bigger threat than the crones. I should face him. I'm no worse a fighter than you. We, we didn't say that. That's not true. Listen to me this once. But... No buts. No buts? Oh. Fine. Be I like careful. buts. You too. Good luck, Siri. Well, I say good luck, Siri, but uh, we're gonna control her right about now, so... I must get down there. Yeah, we must. I'm gonna save quickly. There we go. And it's a bit dark in here, but nothing I can do about that, because I don't have my potions here. I need to jump in here? Or am I going the wrong way? No, I'm not. I am not, so jump down here. Okay. It looks like we're getting pretty close to where we need to be. Because I seem to be hearing voices already. Oh. Yeah, that was... That was more than a whisper now, wasn't it? Oh god. I've been dreading this fight. Well, not for that. That's... As weird as it might seem, that kind of looks... Good. How was he? He lived a life of love and knew no bitterness. Well, aside from the voices and the blood and the body parts. Oh. This is weird. Yeah. I'm gonna have to throw up. So these are indeed the crones. Oh, God. What the hell is going on? I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh, party pooper. I was distracted. Now I'm totally not distracted anymore. There goes the illusion. Hello, Welcome, crows. Child of the elder blood. Well, thank you. We knew Glad to be you here. Would return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. I'm glad you put that over you your head. Enough. 
Whoa, 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 cheaters. Oh, this is gonna suck. So the charge is the better option here. Damn it. I think we should go for Brewis first since she's the bigger target. Oh wow, what? Ooh, I need to be careful. Brewis is almost down. Brewis is down. Oh, God. Oh snap! So continuously teleporting is a really good tactic to stay alive, especially on that march. And the charge attack is really handy. And there goes Weavers I think that was? No, Whispers, Whispers. So now Weavers. Damn it, Mister. So teleporting through them is a really nice tactic to go with. And the charge knocks them on their ass as well. Everyone but Bruce, but Bruce is dead. So uh, sorry. No, I think you will die. I'm pretty sure you will die. There we go. So that's the crones over with. Oh, God. But of course we were here for a bigger man. Is she still alive? And sadly Weavis escapes with the series Wolf Amulet. And that gives us a nice transition to where uh, Imlorith is. So back to Geralt. Imlarith's at the summit. Gotta be. So one very interesting thing about this fight is that I kind of made a mistake uh, during the battle for Kaer Morn. Should draw from it. So this is great as well. So that's a Quen boost. 
and an ability point so i'm gonna use that immediately so we're just gonna upgrade the uh, supercharged glyphs but what i was wanting to say is that imlarith and all the wild hunt riders are actually in, uh, vulnerable for draconid oil and that's something we actually have so there we go a bit of preparation beforehand And then let's see if we can uh, get to the summit here. Because we're not really far away from that, are we? And you can hear the uh, succubi already. What are they doing? Hello, Imlarith, without his helmet. That's double the portion of boobs in this episode, by the way. He's one big motherfucker. Or goat fucker in this scenario. Bye. Bye, ladies. Bye. Oh. She was flashing. The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. Ooh. They did not see the girl. But she is with you. Is she not? She is. Yeah, she's here, because he would yeah, see through your lie immediately. Fear. Where is the girl? Doesn't matter. You'll never get her. No, you won't. That doesn't look like a comfortable helmet, by the way. And this is one half a fight, so get ready, boys and girls. So you can't parry, you can't block any of his blows, so uh, don't even try. But I'm going to use Erden, especially since they're supercharged right now. Only heavy strikes, try not to uh, hit the shield too much as I am doing. And when you get hit, just re uh, fill Quen, because we're gonna need that. I'm actually going to place a damaging one as well, because, uh, well, anything that I can, anything that can help is uh, greatly appreciated. Saves me a few strikes. I'm going to litter this place with glyphs. So he always strikes after your second blow, like that, using a shield, but with the Dragonite oil and uh, heavy strikes. We're doing pretty large chunks of damage. Oh, now he's not slow anymore. I missed my moment to uh, to cast Quen uh, Erden again. There we go. Now we're doing it. And now we need to be very careful. So we need to wait for an overhead slash like that one. That 
plants his weapon in the ground and then slash one time. God damn it, I just cost it. Oh yeah, right. I keep forgetting that. His armor, you can actually burn it off with Igni, that ice armor. See, there we go. Holy shit balls! When his health is low enough, you automatically go into this cutscene. There goes the weapon. Who taught you to fight like this? The Witcher you slew. Hi, Imlareth. Get a face full of Igni. You've looked better, Imlarith. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Goodbye, big boy. Goodbye. Squash! Eight hundred experience points, we keep going up. And Siri has come to join us. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? We slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My soul memento. Um, well, you were lucky, very lucky. You avenged Vesemir. You avenged Vesemir. Avalarch claims vengeance is only ever satisfying when served cold. He's wrong. Now to find Eredin and kill him. Yep, that's uh, the next one on our hit list. An Orin for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. 
Good advice, Siri, but I think we're gonna get our asses kicked. We ought to rejoin them. Yeah, but uh, give me a second. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer. Because there is something else we need to do here. Before I end the episode. Because uh, I think we can go back up. And go check out... Uh, Imlorit's corpse. Because it's supposed to be around here somewhere. There it is. And we can loot it, and there's a magic acorn in here. There's a few things we can do with this. We can actually consume it ourselves. We can give it to uh, the peasants down below. Uh, or we... I think that's it. Just give it to them or uh, keep it. Or we can actually revive this tree, I think. But the benefit of consuming it is actually pretty big. Because if we consume this, as I just did, we actually got two extra ability points. Which is huge. Because uh, I'm going to upgrade those supercharged glyphs. Two more times. There we go, fully upgraded. There we go. And now we can uh, talk to Siri when we are ready to go to Novigrad. So, hello Siri. So, off to Novigrad then. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's get going. Let's go. And when we get down, a few peasants will stop us. Yeah, there they are. The oak is dead. Yes, it is. The oak, the crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? Well, uh, you'll need to live without them. Don't know. Because we kind of nibbled care. on one. You must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage on your own. It's a bit harsh, but uh, we're at a pretty, well, we're at the hardest difficulty, so I need every uh, benefit I can get. So thank you for that acorn. Bold Mountain completed! Now we're pretty close to Novigrad again. Just outside the gates. And things have changed a bit. But it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. So the downside of us rescuing the mages with Ciri is that the witch, witch hunters now go after non-humans. Prejudice will never be eradicated, and witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. I'm back at the chameleon. Once we're given control again, I'm gonna end the episode, but uh, I haven't really found a good place for it yet. Hello, Dandelion. Long time no see. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Well, uh, we kind of killed him, Lorith. Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy mall then, wouldn't you? In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Wait me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, Gold. Have a little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up and then await you in the square in Gildorf. Sounds good. 
There's two songs playing at the same time right now. Anything anything interesting happened? Yeah, while we were away. Pretty Polly came down with a fever. Oyster caught a knife between the ribs, and they're late delivering the sodden triple meat. Damn Dude. Man. Lodge of sorceresses. Triss and Yen were supposed to gather the remnants. They're working on it. Triss is upstairs waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting too. So they're all waiting for me. Gave him your best room, did you? Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. Yes, we will. But I'm gonna take a little break, because uh, it has been another pretty long episode where we killed the crones and Imlorith. But thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!